Today I'm going to be showing you how I do this colorful spring inspired makeup look. If that's something you'd be interested in, please continue watching. But real quick before you get started, if you're new here, my name is Audrey. Welcome to my channel. There's always room for more makeup here. If you love makeup, please consider subscribing before you leave. And now let's get started. <laughs> Whoa, bam. <laughs> I've obviously already got one eye done. <laughs> We're going to go in with the Fade Into Hue palette by ColourPop. This palette, <laughs> this palette um, just gives me so much inspiration and I love it and I really wanted to dive into the pastels in here so um, yeah first we're gonna start off with a kind of fluffier brush and go into Lovecraft right here right um, on the inside of the eye the inner corner part we are gonna cut the crease so it doesn't have to be super precise. Okay, next we're gonna grab a different, not as fluffy, kind of more domed brush and go into oh, um, Selfie right here. And go right in the middle. Kind of blend those two shades together. I did go kind of high all the way up to the brow bone. And I apologize if you can hear cats running around <laughs> in the background. Okay, then I'm going to go ahead and grab a pencil brush and go into the shade Take It Easel. Really pack that on on the outer corner and blend it into that purple. Okay, to cut the crease, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna grab a, a little brush. This is a Morphe M421. And my P. Louise base, grab a little on that tiny brush. It's just coming out of the cap. Grab a mirror, a close-up mirror. I'm just going to use this one real quick. Place that color down, the base down. I like to, I like to open my eye and look straight forward and see where, see where that base goes, because I have so many creases in my eyelids. I'm just going to go ahead and pat that down and not. Go any higher than where it naturally creases. The hard part with this is getting both eyes to match. Good luck. <laughs> All right, once you've got that base placed down, I'm going to grab a flat shader brush and go into the shade. It's called a Big Smile, this yellow right here. Pack that on the brush and then pack it, pack that yellow on top of where you put that P. Louise base or any base, any eyeshadow primer, concealer, anything you like. You just want to pack the yellow where you put it down. After you've got the yellow pack down, I took my Morphe M562. It's a really tiny tapered blending brush and went in with the shade Designer, this pastel green. Just kind of tapped my brush into it and tapped the yellow and the blue together, kind of just blending them because yellow and blue make green. So it just kind of it adds a little bit of something and blends those two colors. Okay, I do want to go in one more time into the blue 
and just deepen up the outer part. Let me make that pastel blue pop. Okay, and that is the top, <laughs> the upper lid. Now we're gonna go in first with the blue again, the pastel blue, and stay on the outer corner of the eye, connecting that to the top. Then going in with the same brush that we used for the purple, being very precise, placing that purple underneath the eye, just in the middle. And then I'm gonna take that same brush we use for the pink, pinch it, kind of pinch it together, and place that pink on the inner corner. All right. Now I'm gonna go ahead and Put a white eyeliner on the inner, the bottom waterline. A brown eyeliner on the top. I've really been preferring brown over black recently. Like a dark brown over a black. Okay, I'm gonna curl my lashes, put on mascara and Put on my falsie and I'll be right back. All right, I'm back and falsies are on. Mascara is done. The very last step that I'm gonna add that just ties everything together so nicely, um, the Jaclyn Cosmetics Loose Highlighter in Extra. I'm gonna go ahead and grab a teeny little brush. This is my ColourPop E29. Go in just a teeny bit and use it as an inner corner highlight and brow bone highlight. And this is just, it just adds that sparkle and pizzazz, it's so good. I recently did a video all about Jaclyn Cosmetics powders. I'll go ahead and link that in the eye <laughs> for you if you wanna go check that out. It was, spoiler alert, Awesome. These powders are wonderful. Look at how shiny that is. It just adds, with all these bright colors we have going on, that bright inner corner highlight just... I think it just ties it all together. Boop. Okay, that's my colorful, springy, pastel look using the fade into hue palette by ColourPop. i love this palette if you're in the market for a colorful palette i would highly recommend this one last time i checked it was in stock on colourpop.com and it's good i love all the colors um yeah i hope you enjoyed this video if you made it to the end thank you so much i love and appreciate you give this video a thumbs up if you love videos like this and youtube should be recommending one of my other videos if you want to go check it out thank you so much bye